Darius Black. At 126, from Mustang, Shelton Chastain. And from Union, Thomas Tote. At 132, from Mustang, Kid Johnson. And from Union, uh, Junior Adam Lohman. At 138, from Mustang, Jastin Jackson. And from Union, uh, Adrian Rivera. At 145, from Mustang, Todd Brakebill. And from Union, Tanner Jarvis. At 152, from Mustang, Dagan Reyes. And from Union, Noah Smith. At 160, from Mustang, John Wiley. And from Union, uh, Leo Hurtado. At 170, from Mustang, Claude Motes. And from Union, it'll either be Mikey Foster or Jacob Heber. At 182, from Mustang, Jason Jackson. And from Union, Wura Yanusa. At 195, from Mustang, Devin Ains. And from Union, Stephen Freeman. At 220, from Mustang, Jacob Gearhart. And from Union, uh, Christian Mayberry. And at 285, from Mustang, Christian Rowland. And from Union, Jeff Oaks. The head coach for Mustang is Coach Brian Piccolo. And your head coach for the Union Redhawks is Danny Jefferson. Red Hawks athletic trainer is Dan Newman. Sports medicine is provided by Advanced Orthopedics. Tonight's referee is Clint Wynn. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Red Hawk Wrestling. And as I break from the one microphone to another, I welcome you and your, the Union Sports Network audience into this duel between um, the Mustang Broncos and the Union Red Hawks. And right here, and sitting next to me, Steve Dunlap, fresh off the plane from Denver. <laughs> I'm Jim Douthat. Mustang Broncos come in here tonight, Steve, ranked third in the state. We're ranked 10th. On paper, we are definitely outmatched. What's the, what's the message that Coach Jefferson had early well, on? Well, what Coach Jefferson will want is just a great effort, just, just not being afraid, not being intimidated, going out there and wrestling as hard as they can. Mustang, since Coach Piccolo has been there, has been one of the, the top programs in the state. They were state runner-ups last year, scored 139 points, which would normally win the state tournament. Uh, just a, a fantastic team and a lot of good wrestlers. So tonight, we just want to see a great, Great effort from our, our union wrestlers, and seeing this type of competition earlier should prepare us as we go on throughout the season. Sure. So for Mustang, Fox Kurtz, a freshman, and Nathan Riley, a freshman for union at the 106 weight class, and this is where we start as Clint Wynn is our referee this evening. There's an early takedown there for uh, Mustang. Uh, Fox Kurtz with the takedown takes an early 2-0 lead. And we're just underway. Now, if you're wondering – what you're looking at, we're actually at the Union Freshman Academy uh, tonight as uh, we are finally getting the work done in our gymnasium at the high school that we've been waiting on for quite a while. Well, last year we had water damage at the high school and here at the ninth grade center and took a long time to get that settled um, on, on how much would be paid by insurance and how much from Union and all that, and they finally got it settled, and we're looking forward to them getting started and getting those done. We, we feel like it's really going to look good when, when it's done, and uh, I know the athletes are excited to see it done as well. Yeah, you bet. You bet for sure.
sure. So if fans are wondering what you're looking at, we are actually in gymnasium number two, if I'm not sadly mistaken, uh, here at the Union Freshman Academy. So live in Tulsa, Oklahoma on this Tuesday night. We're just past about 6 o'clock here. We welcome you guys in. This is exciting for us. And, and uh, uh, the girls got to go down to Moore, you were saying, or we were talking about before we came on air. And uh, what was what was it from Moore? They well, that's two of the two of the top girls teams in the state this year. It was be Moore and uh, Union, and they ended up tying 36-36. But Coach McAfee said that uh, Moore won on criteria, okay. so they either had more wins or more pins or or something like that to to win that match. But we wrestle Moore later on in the season. That'll be in fact their last girls home match here at Union, and that'll be coming up after Christmas. Got it. That's that'll be exciting. That'll be exciting. So as we're, we're in early, we're about eight seconds away from the first period coming over, 2 nothing on top. Fox Kurtz with a quick takedown early on in this, and he'll go up 2 nothing. Clint Jones is signaling to Mr. Kurtz. So he'll decline. And Riley will have his choice here if he wants, and he's going to go on his feet. You know, he gave a good effort that first period, fought hard, and that's that's what 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 we want to see out of our union wrestlers is a great effort. Even if, even if we get took down by a, by a more experienced wrestler than us, we still want to see that great effort. And, and that's he, what, what happened right there. Right, Kurt's yeah. got another quick Kurt's, two. Kurt got another early takedown, and he, so he's up 4-0 now in the second period. So... A couple of freshmen uh, at this weight class. Is this a, is this a typical weight class for for, for right. the freshmen? Right, you get, you get a lot of freshmen kids. at 106 pounds. He's fighting hard now, and, and there's the And he gets the fall. So Mustangs Fox Kirks gets a fall and gets Mustang out to a 6-0 lead. Yep. Winner for Mustang uh, Fox Kirks. So Kirks will get the get the quick six points for Mustang. And now Javin Douglas and DJ Asbury will get out here. As they both check in. I'm glad to see they both agreed to wear red tonight. <laughs> yes, they did, didn't they? <laughs> they sure did. And both we're teams, underway. red, red, white, and black. We, we, we run into that in football. A lot of times yep. we have similar <laughs> type uniforms. Exactly. Of course, one has white jerseys and one has the dark jerseys. Right. But, but we still mirror each other yep. a little bit there. For sure. Well, and I think I'm not a – I don't know for a fact as there's a nice roll over there's there. There's early but, takedown yeah, right yeah. there for Douglas. Quick two points for Gavin – or Javin Douglas. And sophomore, he gets and a fall a right quick, there. Quick So 12-0. There. Javin Douglas with a fall there. Got a takedown, then cradled him up and got the fall right there. Two sophomores at that way. Winner at 113, uh, Javin Douglas. So now we'll go on to the 120 weight class, and, and Kyler Kurtz is going to step in here, and he's going to take on Darius Black. Both, uh, uh, you got to, I believe, I'm not too sure if Kurtz is a senior or not uh, as I look through here. But he's going, he's going against Black, who's just a sophomore. Sophomore, but a returning starter and had a really good year last year. Uh, I was impressed many times watching him and really look forward to him having, a, having an outstanding year this year. He's gone up a couple of weights. He's 106-pounder last year. I remember how easy it was to gain weight. Now I just wish I could figure out how to take it off, Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean? I lose it, but I find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is, and, and Mustang is really good about getting that head down and running around the side and working cradles. He's got him in a in a cradle there. He's got the leg split right there. Black doing a good job of fighting it off right now. And they're going to go and off the mat. mat. So and that's a, that's a good move now. Is that something that, that you, you as, a, as, a, as a coach would tell your kids, hey, when you're that close, try to get yourself off? So oh, you yeah. The, yeah, if you're on yeah, bottom, you yeah. want you want to hit a move. You can't just crawl off right. or run off. You've right. got to hit a move off the mat. Here's Black with some good moves right here. Uh, he's caught the leg here. He's going to try to come out. Come out here. It would sure help him if he could get some points right here. He's fighting hard against Kyler Kurtz. There's a little, we've got about 46 seconds left in this period number one, and I think Clint Wynn just stopped it there because nothing was happening. So right, said, yeah, you get a stalemate move. right yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. so. 
And a stalemate's not necessarily that the kids stop working. It's right. that they're, they're pushing in, against each right. other and they, and they can't do anything. They can't do anything. Can't, can't move on to the next move. Still 2-0 here with 30 seconds left here in the first first period. And I like I like the way Black's fighting through this. You know, right? He right. seems a little outmatched, but he's he's not quitting on this deal now. No, not not know. at all. And in, in fact, he was in a pretty tough position there, and he worked his way, hit a move off the mat, and came back. And hopefully, you know, when he gets on top, he he can uh, give some of this back. There you go. <laughs> but, there you go. Uh, but there Kurtz you go. is looking really good right now. Is is done three. outstanding. And he'll get out of this period down two. Right. Okay. So we'll go to the Mustang will decline it. So they're going to, or defer it, I should say. And he'll go ahead and get down. Now, what's the okay. strategy well, here? Well, you'd hope you can get an escape or a uh, reverse right here. Out of one he point, got guy. to his feet quick, which is very important there. He's got to get his he's, hips out. Yep. Looking for a switch. Now that. Kurtz drops down on the leg. It's got him in a single leg position. Uh, so now he's just but, trying but, to get off. But what Black did right there, he got that first move off bottom. Now if he can just get his hips out a little bit, hand control, maybe he could get that escape. And even though even though Kurtz had his foot there, he doesn't get the escape because no. of the whistle. Uh, blew. Right, okay. right. He still had the control. Now if Black can just get his hips out there a little bit, he's trying to get him out. Kurtz drops down on the leg again. And Kurtz then, got uh, a great move to that leg. Right. That's going to be off the mat, I'm going to imagine. We'll see what it's Wynn says close. here. And see now, Kurt's really doing good right there. He's, he, he's killing some time right there, staying on the mat. Uh, good mat awareness right mm -hmm. there. And once again, uh, Black will have to hit a mat, hit a move to go off the mat. But Darius has been doing a really good job on his first move. He can just get his hips out here, get a little more hand control. I think he could get the escape. Yeah, and 117 here left in the second. And, and quickly back up to, to his, his feet. feet again. And that's what you want to see at, at now, this point, right? Eventually, he keeps dropping down to that leg. He could get a warning, but the thing that Kurtz keeps doing is he keeps wrestling right there. He's just not holding up the leg. Now, here's a chance for a reverse, a reverse or maybe an escape. And, and there and it he is. Got it. And he did get the two points. Nice job there by Black. And that's off the mat, but we're tied back up. Would you like in that move? Well, just he just didn't quit. He just kept wrestling. You know, you can overcome mistakes or, or even a even a close co uh, position like that was just by keeping going. And he kept going, kept going, and that's how he got that. It's two to two now, and uh, Darius has, has got the uh, tight waist and a bar arm hooked up here. He could get some back points right here. Kurt's doing a good job of fighting it off. Black, black tied really up close, here. Close call on the edge there. I really felt like he had the two before he gave it. And then Kurtz kind of fought back in there and got in a little bit better position. But but I thought he had maybe the two before uh, they went off the mat. Coming up on 20 but, seconds but, remaining uh, here. But yeah, I know. I, and I think I think this is one of the most competitive, obviously, matches we've seen as we're right. in match three tonight, right now. Right. Mustang this, made quick work of us early on, but Black's showing kind of what the potential right, of our right. team oh, is. Oh, yes, ab absolutely. Well, Darius is always a battler. He doesn't ever quit, just keeps going right here. Now, he doesn't want to give up. Woo. Boy, that was pretty close. You don't want to give up any points in the last few seconds. And it was funny, as, as, as that buzzer now, sounded, Darius kind of looked back up at, at referee now, Clinton. Now, here's, like, here's uh, Kurt. He took uh, neutral because uh -huh. he got the takedown earlier. Is probably feels more comfortable on his feet right here. So it's two to two. Minute 50 left. Who can get this takedown right here and take the lead? Be a big opportunity. Nice shot there by Black to get underneath him, but it was, Kurtz a good, was quick. Good counter. Good counter yep. by Kurtz. And re seeing this is where Mustang's really tough, getting that head on the side, goes for that far leg. Now, uh -huh. now Black with a good counter, uh -huh. working that cross face, trying to get a leg back. Kurtz hanging on for dear life right now as Black Kurt, seems now to be this in position. Where Kurtz would be hoping for hanging. He's hanging on for the stalemate right here. Yeah. But but what I do like about Kurtz is, is he doesn't get in there and stall. He keeps wrestling. So there's been no stall warnings here. Black did a great job of fighting out that first attempt right there. Now here's Kurtz in on a single leg. Good counter by, by Darius Black of Union. Kurtz gets to his feet though. Black's got a hold of that right leg and just not letting go. We got one minute left here in the match. It's two to two. Mm -hmm. 
Having a great bat. match here. Yep. Both both young men are putting out a great effort right here. They're trying to do what their coaches are telling them to do. Uh, these are the type of matches that, that for, as a fan, you enjoy yes. watching because two kids really going at it. And there's, oh, there's a pass the by. And, and he'll get and, him over. And, and there's a the two. Takedown. And there's a two. 48 seconds left. Now he's just got to hold on Black now. With a, with a really good pass by right there. And four, 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 four of our coaches on their feet over oh, here yes, screaming. They're, they're excited. They're excited about this for sure. Uh, Trey Smith, Devin Swartz, head coach uh, Danny, Danny Jefferson. Jefferson, and then uh, 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 Nafee. Uh, he was uh, OU wrestler last year, uh -huh. uh, wrestled in the Big 12 finals, and uh, just an outstanding wrestler here at Union as well. Yep. And great to show those guys up and and really, really pushing it down. We're down to right. 10 seconds now. now Get Black stay, hold on. Just stay smart right yeah. here. Don't give up a reverse. And Darius Black is in good spot, and he's going to win this match yep. to make it 12 to 3. Yep. Nice job. Nice win by yep. Darius Black. Very impressive win. Uh, both of those guys, yeah, really that was good great. wrestlers. I, I like that match. Oh, winner. Both those, both those young men. At 120 for the Red Hawks, Darius Black. So next up at the 126, Shelton Chastain and Thomas Tote. Tote, just a, just a freshman. And Shelton Chastain, Mr. Chastain is, uh, he, he's built like a wrestler. That boy is built. Tote fights him off. A couple of head shots there up top. Chastain. And Chastain Tote very experienced. Black to their feet. Chastain yes. three times state qualifier, placed fourth in 2020. And there it is, off the mat. Good job there. Good job by Tote. Keep his composure here. There's Little nice head slapping. There's down. And the two points. That was an impressive move by Tote, Thomas Tote, just a freshman. There with a with a big takedown right there. Especially on the senior and, and the experience that yes, Chastain absolutely. brings to this map. Great job by, that by was Tote. A quick, quick, quick shot. Mm -hmm. There you go. And off the mat. Go back to one minute left here in Tote with a really nice takedown there to go up 2-0 mm -hmm. over Chastain. But this is where we'll see what happens right. because He's the got, senior in Chastain, right, the freshman right, in, in yeah, Tote. It's, it's it is it is far from over. Right. But, but, uh, but a great, we're off to a good start right here for the Union Red Hawks. Yep. Scores 12-3 as you guys can see at home. Two nothing Tote on top of Chastain right now. He's Steve Dunlap. I'm Jim Douthit. Thanks for joining us here on the Union Sports Network as we come to you live from the Union Freshman Academy. Uh, nice, nice move by, by uh, Chastain, Chastain to almost get out of there and then yep. Tote got right back in there and, and basically took him back down, right. but they never did come to the neutral position, so there was no points either way, so it's still 2-0. As Chastain we come up on back to his feet seconds. Now. Look how he's getting those hips out and uh -huh. getting that hand control. Uh -huh. Tote doing a great job of hanging in there. Uh -huh. Now, he didn't get him down quick enough, so he gets a warning, a stalling warning. So, Tote gets a stalling warning because he couldn't get him back to the mat fast enough. So, at that point, you can't just let go of him, yes, though, at that could. point. You, you could, well, and, that, and that's what that's what the, the well, official's asking you to do in that well, case. Well, no, not on that case, but the next case, mm -hmm. if, he, if he's holding him up like that again and gets warned, it'll cost him a point. So, you'd be better off to let him go. Let him go. Got it. Got it. And they'll start up. Second period, 2 nothing. The two freshman nothing. Tote on top of the senior Chastain. Chastain in on a nice shot, but good counter by Tote. Chastain circling on around, and that's what you do in that case. A Mustang very well coached on, on these moves right here. And he's going to get the takedown and, and tie it up 2-2. Two. Two yep. two. Now here's where Tote doesn't, see, doesn't stop. It's now it's 3-2 now it's two two. with the escape, Tote. But, boy, Chastain right back in there, another... Another hit, oh, but no points got awarded. To take, got it now, there, Now though. they did, yep. Tote fought him hard on that, but Chastain 
just trying to just mentally wear him down right here with right. those really sharp takedowns. Right. And uh, it's four to four. Coming up on about a minute and 15 left here in the second. Cote it is not at four. And once again, this position where Mustang is so good about getting around, what we used to say, turn the corner, getting around behind him. And, and see right there, he's got it, goes right around. Got it. Gets a two point gets takedown. The two it's points. still six to four, six to five. Now it's six so to Tote, five. So Tote, hang in there. Just, just hang in there and keep wrestling. What was the point of Chastain? Because he did kind of, let's be honest, well, he let yeah, it go a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's, he's trying to trade points here. I'll give you one because I think I can get two. Two more out of right. this. Got it. I'm going to get you back to your feet right. and take see, it out. Right here, he's just got like a fireman's, short fireman's carry right there. And Win says no points yet, though. There's the point. And there's, there's the point. Okay, fought it hard. Yep. Now it's eight to five. Uh, Chast Chastain, see, they're trading those points right there. Now, doesn't look like he's going to now with just about 25 20. seconds left. So but, he'll uh, ride him out. Here's where Chastain, when he got behind, he didn't panic. That's that senior experience. He just... He just stayed calm and and uh, kept wrestling, and and so that's what Tote needs to do right now. Right. Well, and especially, and again, you mentioned it. That's that senior in you, right? As opposed to the freshman well, who came senior, out hot. That's a three-time state qualifier <laughs> and a one-time state placer. That is that is outstanding. Yep. yep. Tote and hops back up. He's in the down position now. He's got to get that first move. We saw Chastain do it earlier, had his hips out, fought that hand control, and ended up leading him to, to an escape. So 8-5. Eight, eight, Chastain on top here. But Gets Tote for a fresh, trying to skip over there. He's, he could get himself in trouble. If Chastain lifts his hips, he could pull him under. If you jump over, you better hook a leg in there. Well, and the one the one advantage that Chastain, or excuse me, that that Tote's got is his length. Yes, he's yes, definitely he does. a lot uh, lengthwise. He's bigger than than uh, than Chastain for sure. He's got the arm. He's getting him over, boy. He's trying to get him pulled over now. But Tote, let's let's not take away the fight that this freshman's got in him, Steve. We're down to a minute twenty. He's got to get up to his feet though, and try to get at least a point. It's great to, get to choose down. Uh -huh. You might get an escape or reverse, but you've got to get away. And so far, you know, we've spent 50 seconds down there just getting wore out. Yep. And Chastain's got that uh, the, the tight waist and a bar arm hooked up here, or a wing, mm -hmm. and trying to get some back points there. Now, Tote's doing a good job of fighting that off. Now he threw his arm out yep. there, and Chastain got up underneath him. Yep. Down to 50 seconds. Still just eight to five. Impressive match by both both men. Tote, the freshman against the, the seasoned senior from Mustang. And, and he jerks Chastain. him back and, and might get some back points here. He's got that arm in a and Tote Tote fighting hard. Boy, he is fighting him hard. He can't try. Boy, he did. What a great effort yeah, by yep. Tote, because Castain had him in a tough spot. Coming up on 20 seconds now remaining. Jim, you and I might have gone over. I'm saying we would have gone <laughs> I over. I couldn't have been like that. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got out of the first period, a, to be honest with you. What a but great yes, effort. Yeah. What a great yeah. effort by Tote. Just a freshman. I'm yeah. very impressed with him. This and comes down Chast on five. Chastain uh, once again shows why he's a four-time, a three-time yeah. state qualifier, yep. going for his fourth. Uh, very impressive win yeah. by Shelton uh, Chastain to win eight to five. You bet. Winner for Mustang, Shelton Chastain. So Chastain will get the get the win there, eight five. Mustang will go up fifteen to three. A Adam Loman will jump out here, the junior for Union against Kid Johnson, the senior for Mustang. We're wrestling at one thirty two. Good scramble by both of them to start the match. On their feet. You might hear coaches saying get that hook from the union side. Right. Um, who's going to come out right here? Mustang goes down, tries to get that leg. Johnson trying to get wrap that leg up on Loman. No points Nothing yet. There. Nothing there. We're coming up on both both left. wrestlers fighting hard in there, and there's the two. Kid Kid Johnson, a Mustang, in there with the takedown. 
two points there now. Bowman getting that arm out there. Keeping away from getting getting pinned up. Now Loman looks like One he's minute get left. To the, back to his feet here. We'll see. Well, one thing he's doing right there, he's keeping his, his head up, trying to get that hand control right there. And Just now like he's that. coming to his feet. Now get your hips out. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get him out, and Kid Johnson doing a good job of holding him in there. Good move by Kid Johnson. But no points for a no takeout because he, he right, never got out. Right, he never got, got away. Got got Kid Johnson did did a good job of, of uh, hanging in there and, and not letting him get loose. We're at the 132 weight class. Thanks for joining us here on the Union Sports Network. He's Steve Dunlap. I'm Jim Douthat. Wrestling coming to you live from the Freshman Academy. Oh, going for some back points right here. But Lohman, once again, keeping a good position right there to not give any back points. I love how you're talking about the head up. Well, That's you want to keep that head. If you get the head down, they can start working more moves on you, drive you over your head, get you on your back. So you always want to try to keep your head up, shoulders up. And Lohman, Lohman did a good job of that, or he might have gone to his back a few times. So it, took, it takes a great effort to do that. Yep. So down. Once again, you want to get that first move and get your hips out. Mm -hmm. Stand up and get those hips out. So Lohman will start 2 nothing now. Is yeah, good, second. good move by uh, Lohman there, but Kid Johnson breaks him back down to the mat. Johnson's got a hold of him now, and Lohman's trying to break that grip that he's got up around his neck. You can really tell both both teams are very well coached. I'm very impressed with, with the techniques and the fundamentals that both teams are using. Now, Johnson still on top. Right. Coming up on the 120 mark here remaining, second period. Still. Kid Johnson's doing a good job of, of what we call riding and wearing him out. Now he's trying to jerk him back right there. Might get some. He's getting some back right points twice. right there. That was a kind of caught Loman by back surprise. That was a quick move by quick, uh, Kid Johnson who jerked him back, and now he's working that half Nelson in there. When Loman's fighting for everything he's yeah, got. Yeah, he, it's, it's getting close. And uh. we're going to stop the match here. Three back points. Mm -hmm. And then, um, well, what he ended up, he, he had a full, what they call a full Nelson. He got his three back points. Right. Then it ended up being a full Nelson, so he got a penalty point. point you can't point. use, you can't use, use that. full Nelson. Right. So, right. But he didn't get hooked up in that till he'd already got his three points. Yep. So he was awarded the three points, right. then penalized the and point. Then, and then Lohman the, gets the point. Point for that. Kind of like a, in football, a penalty after the play. Play, got it. Got it. Adam fighting for his life right now, but fundamentally, like you like what you see in, in Loman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, well, I like He's fighting hard right there. He was in a bad way right there, did not she quit. Was. If he'd have quit, he probably would have got pinned, right. and that's that's what you always want to see. They can they can always improve if they don't quit. Right. When he's working that. Boy, he is working that, that arm, arm over there. Yep. And once again, Loman fights it off. Uh -huh. Kid Johnson's uh -huh. tough on top. Yep. He sure is. If we There's get Lohman, the choice again, we may not take that. Yep. And he's going to get <laughs> and Loman away. gets away, away with an escape. A great Adam. effort right there. Boy, and Loman is not quitting at no, all. No, he is not quitting. And that was impressive to get that escape in the yep. last five seconds. Now Kid Johnson goes down. Let's let's see what Loman can do yep. on top here. Down by three is Loman. See if he can can work something. Johnson will keep his left hand up near his near his ear. Not going to get away there. Loman still working it. What do you want Loman to do at this point right well, here? Well, he probably he's got to break him down, break those hips down right there. He's got him broke down. Okay. Now that, that he's got that, maybe he can start working some type of pinning combination or get some back points because he's, he's down five to two. If he could get... Get some near fall points. You know, if he got three, it ties it back up. Correct. And he's working towards that. Kid Johnson's doing a good job of countering everything he does. But Loman remains on top. Yes, Loman. Loman is definitely uh, making Kid Johnson work for everything he gets. Yep. yep. Kid 
Team scores 15 to three, Mustang up on, on Union. And that came on, on two quick pins. Right. In the first two at 106 and 113. Right. Back to this match, Lohman still working it. 43 seconds left. We're just in period number. No, it is period number three. I looked up for yeah. a second. I was like, wait a second. So period three, right now, I'm assuming that Johnson's just trying to ride this out. Right, yes, you know, I think so. He just, he just got a warning, so he's going to have to pick it up or he can, he can get a penalty point if he gets called for stalling again. And you can kind of see he looks like he's beginning to pick it up a little bit. Right. There's coaches are getting on to him a little bit to get to moving. 15 and, seconds. And um, just uh, Lohman, great effort. Just has not been able to break him down and get any back points right here. We're down to five seconds. Lohman and trying everything, and he's just about worn out. But I'm going to tell you what, so is Kid Johnson. Well, this, this is the Johnson's type of match we're looking for. Right. Hard, you know, just going hard and just not quitting. Winner at 132 for Mustang, uh, Kid Johnson. Well, that makes it 18 to three for Mustang. But we've we've had some hard fought hard fought matches here tonight. Well, and and, and that that just says everything. And you mentioned it earlier about about what Coach Jefferson and his squad and his team of coaches done. There, there's no quitting in them, and that's what they preach the entire time. So we'll get on the 138. Justin Jackson, the senior from Mustang, against another freshman and an Adrian Ooh, Rivera. Uh, and quickly yeah. off the mat to that side. Yeah, quick take down there. You can see the experience here by, by Jackson. And and just you can see the difference between a senior and a freshman out here right quick. Right. But Riviera with a quick first move. Now Rivera. And Jackson's got the leg in working for a for a half Nelson here. Riviera in a, a tough spot right here, a freshman against a soft uh, a senior. senior. And there it is. And there's the fall yeah. by uh, uh, Jackson. By Jackson. Yeah, very impressive uh, match by Jackson. And Riviera hopefully learn from this and come back stronger as the, as the year goes Winter on. 138 for Mustang, Justin Jackson. Next at 145, Mustang will send out Todd Brakebill. And Tanner Jarvis, the sophomore for Coach Jefferson. And Tanner's got some fans behind us. So I think I believe I heard Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting his son going. Well, Jarvis in on a shot there, and then Brakeville came back with a reshot there, and he's come ended up out of the scramble there and gets a two-point takedown. So Brakeville on top. 2-0. And boy, the way Brakebill's got Jarvis's left arm there. Although, we'll see what's going on here. Jarvis continuing it to fight. Now Brakebill's got well, he's that. He's getting close to that he's getting close to getting some back points right here. He doesn't have them yet. Jarvis is fighting them off. Now the back points from a standpoint of having him on his back. Yes. Okay. If you get without him, without a pin, right? Is what you're talking about. You hold him there less than five, uh, two to five seconds. Two to four seconds is two points. Five seconds or more is three points. And and here he is getting the back points right, right there, yeah. and so he's got at least three right there. He's still with the same hold though, so he you can't just keep let him up a little bit and, and then go back go with back. the same hold. You have to completely break that hold, so. Tanner's fighting hard there, trying to get out of this. When he, early on, if he can hang on for 30 more seconds, which is a lifetime when you're out right. there. On yes, that yes, match. when you're in that spot. But yep. he did. He but fights it, out he of fights it. He fights out of it. And he uh, will get the three points in Brakeville. Brakeville's up five nothing now. And then Brakeville went right back into another pinning combination, which is a smart move by a wrestler there. And uh, and there it. Well, he was counting. It sure looked like a pin from our angle, but Tanner still, Jarvis he's, is still fighting it on. Right, he's fighting hard. A great fighting effort, hard great effort. Right oh, there, a super effort. Saved by the bell. Three more points, though. It'll be eight now. Eight yeah, nothing. but Jarvis with a super effort right, right. there. Right. Jarvis looking back. They're both going to start up. So right here is uh, Tanner Jarvis. We need to get a take down here to change the momentum and break Bill back in on a on a on a single leg. Gets around back. Still no points. 
trying to trip him down, and there he gets the two-point takedown two take and down. puts in a, what we call a cross-body ride. And uh, obviously that's what Brakeville's good with because he goes right to it every time. Very comfortable with that. He's going to work the work his back like that as Brakeville. Well, he's he's keeping that one leg elevated, so that that keeps you from getting up to your base where maybe you can work a move and get out of there. There he got up. At least he got got up to his knees, but but right back down as Brakeville right, puts him right, right back right down. Right back into that cross body right. He's got the elbow hooked. Mason Nafee, or one of our assistant coaches, has been cheering him on pretty hard on what to do now. This is what called a guillotine, and it it is a it's one of the painful moves of wrestling. <laughs> I got pinned in a in a guillotine one time, and I said never again. They'd have to break my arm <laughs> before they got in it. And, and I tell you what, Tanner Jarvis did outstanding fighting that off right there because that thing hurts. Well, I'm going to tell you. As this being about the third or fourth time we've worked together, none of this looks comfortable. And I yeah. played hockey for a long time, right. and I, I guarantee I'd rather play that than this. Yeah, that, so, well, that's so. part of the deal is make your opponent be uncomfortable. Yep, yep. And still, Tanner is fighting hard. And this Jarvis is what is we, just doing we're talk, great right talking now. about what we want to see from Union is a great effort tonight right. and and make Mustang work for everything they get. And there's they get the, uh, the uh, tech fall, so uh -huh. it's yep. – and yeah. uh, he'll win 16-0. But I still like the effort there by uh, Tanner Jarvis. You he bet. keeps giving that effort. Uh, good things are going to happen to him in the future. Winner at 145 for Mustang, Todd Brakebill. So now we're up to 152. Dagan Reyes for Mustang and Noah Smith, Noah, the senior. Right, Noah Smith, a, a senior uh, one of our, our top top wrestlers and top young men goes right in there, gets a takedown, going for a cradle, going for a quick fall right here. And I just uh, really enjoy watching Noah wrestle. I think he's one of our top kids and one of our top athletes in our school. There it and is. And he gets and the pin. Like that. The so pin. right there, a great win right there for, for Noah Smith. Um, Winner at 152. For the Red Hawks, Noah Smith. Noah is a two-time state qualifier. I know he's wanting to get on that platform this year, and we're sure, sure cheering for him to, of course, win the state championship, but yeah. also be on that podium. Yeah. But yeah, he is, sure. sure works hard and uh, is a great leader for our team. So Leo Hurtado now at 160 will step to the mat for Coach Jefferson and his squad. And well, he's got his John work Wiley cut out. For Mustang John here. Wiley's one of the top wrestlers, not only in Oklahoma, but in the country. He's a three-time finalist, two-time state champ, a very impressive wrestler. So at that point, you just say, and there it is. Or was, was, hey, or was that? And I'm, 12 seconds. Yeah, and that was. Um, that was John Wiley at Right, John, yeah. John Wiley, John very, Wiley. very impressive. Winner at 160 for Mustang, uh, senior John Wiley. So see, Foster's going to step in here. One of the wrestlers from Mustang, Bam West, two-time state qualifier, took third last year, is, is, did not wrestle tonight. So I don't know if he has an injury or what, why he missed, but he's a great wrestler for Mustang as well. So Mickey Foster for the Red Hawks will step to the mat against Claude Motes. We're at 170. 152 and 160 weight classes took about uh, 20 seconds combined for those two. Noah Smith with the pin at 152, and John Wiley for Mustang with the pin at and 160. 35-9, Mustang on top. Sorry, Steve, what were you going to say? Well, they got in a pretty good scramble right there, and it kept looking like Motes was going to get that takedown, and then, and then uh, Wiley. <laughs> yeah, Foster. Foster would do, Mikey Foster would do something to make you think he that he was going to get the takedown, but then uh, Moats got not only the takedown, but two back points as well. So he's up 4-0 with a minute left here in the period. Moats is looking really strong right here. Uh, Foster's got to, got to get up and get away right here. And here's that cross body again. Now he rolls with it. He Maybe with it Foster's there. a returning state qualifier. We'll see. 
what the junior here can do for Union. And gets more back points there. Two more. Might even might get some more right here. With nice and job for two Foster back to get points, back. So he goes up 6-0. Foster gets back to, to, to his, his stomach. Stomach, least, yes. Right? But Moats, it's Moats battles is, like that right, sometimes. That, yes. are, that are the good Moats ones. has been very impressive out here. Up 6-0, returning state qualifier, uh, Mikey Foster. Team score is 35-9, Mustang over Union right now. But Moats, I tell you what, Moats, you, you better be ready with him. He's going to work pinholes and... <laughs> And then try to pin you. He's going to take down. He's so here's take down. this gives Foster a chance to get on top here and maybe turn things around. He's down 6-0, but he he still has a chance right here. So Boy, quickly, good to see that good first move. You you like to see him get that first move if you're on bottom, and that's what Moats did. So Moats knew that he had right. probably get, the get advantage. Get that first get move is always an advantage right there. Uh, Foster hung in there and kept him down, but now Moats is coming coming back out. Foster on top of Moats right now, working the head, trying to get him get him in that lock. But Moats is going to fight him off. And almost to his feet was and Foster, and there's an escape by Moats. So Moats will get out, get a point awarded, 7-0. So 7-0. Boy's in there on a body lock right there, going for the far knee. A nice takedown attempt by Moats, but a great counter by Foster. Foster almost had a takedown right there, and Moats caught his leg uh -huh. to keep him from getting around there. I thought Foster was going to score there for a second. Now he move. gets it, so yeah. now he's now up. He's got the two. Yeah, it's 7-2, and he's got a cradle working uh -huh. a cradle right here. If he can, got 48 seconds here. If he can, can work some back points or maybe even a pin. Oh, that's a hard way to go right there. Boy, and just it, and Moats, Moats just now, shrugged now him off. Moats, Moats has done a great job of countering right there on that cradle. And there's the reverse and two back points. And two back points. So quickly 11-2 when it looked like Foster really had an oh, opportunity yeah. to do it. Moats well, shows why he's a senior. I really wish experience. Foster would have gone the other direction, tried to bump him over, which is very hard to do. But Moats did a good job because he posted that hand out there. If he'd have left it in, he probably would have got rolled through. But he did it. Like I said, they're very well coached as well as our kids are. And he posted that hand out there and then caught Foster on his back. And there it is, 11-2 going into the third, though. So... Foster's so, going to have to be down. Yeah, well, he's he, well, he, he took he's taking the neutral position. Okay, which which I like because he's he had trouble getting away earlier. But uh, Moats has been just very impressive. Uh, a lot of those wrestlers you don't see them stick that arm out to stop that right. cradle like that. But now Foster in on a takedown. Foster trying to get wrap up Moats's legs and kind of a reverse action there. That was a great move by Moats. To get Foster up in the air, but Foster, Foster seems to be on top. And there he is. gets him a takedown. Great move there. 11 4 now. He's looking for that cradle again. When he had that earlier, and Moats was able to <laughs> just turn it into yeah, his advantage yeah, for four sure points. Was. So you got to wonder if Foster's going to try to do that again, knowing that well, it didn't work out his right, <laughs> for I, best. I, for I, I don't think he'll, he'll try it exactly like that again uh, <laughs> until unless he just gets desperate right there at the right. end and has to try something. There's a little over a minute left here in the third period. Moats is up 11 to 4. Let so him up. Go, go ahead. He, you know, maybe he can take him down to his back or something. It's 12 to 4. 45 seconds left. So you give him the point with the hopes that you're going to get a takedown take and, take down and down maybe him. take him down yeah. to his back because he wasn't even getting close to getting him on his right. back there. Yeah. So you, try to. You get Moats to the floor and he seems to almost get a little stronger. Right. Times. Coming up just under well, 30 Foster. seconds now. Trying to maybe work something out right here. And he gets a takedown, makes it 12-6. 20 seconds points. left. 
Two more points. He's going to let him up. No, he's not going to let him yeah, up. Yep, he's yep, going to. He 13 6. Yep. 12 seconds left. And this is, once again, it's what we're wanting tonight. See, see our union wrestlers Man. fight real hard against one of the top teams in the state. A warning on Moats. And, and uh, no Foster trying to come in. Wow. And that's it. But what about the effort for yeah, Foster great, as he fantastic. gets a nice hand great from the fans effort behind and, us? Uh, and a pat on the back from Foster. You know, that, that cradle situation at there. 170. Claude Moats. We're hoping to get two, two or three points, and we gave up four, and that made a big difference in that match. Jacob Heber is going to come in. And wrestle. And I, I believe that's Jason Jackson yes. out there. So Heber is going to come in. So you got yes. Heber here. Against Jason Jackson. Jason, Jason, Jason so we Jackson. got two seniors out here. But uh, Jackson with a quick takedown. Or Heber with a takedown. Excuse me there. Yeah, those reds can kind of yep. blend together, sir. I, I'm right. with you. <laughs> Especially at the angles well, we're getting It's sometimes. been a while, but we had some uniforms pretty close to what Mustang has there. But that's a nice takedown there by Heber. Now J Jason Jackson is getting the reverse to tie it up 2-2. Two to two. So and the verse there, and he's, he's on his back now. Jackson's got... Heber. He's got him got him broke down here. So he trying to keep that, that right right leg elevated there. Makes it tough to get up and get away. And then that's when you go to work. Well and what, what people don't realize when you're in that down position right there, it just wears you out. It it is it you've got to really be in shape to, to come back from those long rides that some of Mustang's wrestlers had him. Working a good strong half right there by Jackson. He Heber's trying to fire it off, but right. he's in big trouble yep. right there. And there's, and there's the pin the by yep. Jackson. Yep. After a nice takedown, though, by Heber. Yep. Heber did a great job taking him down. But Jason Jackson will get the pin. Winner at 182 for Mustang, Jason Jackson. Now it's 45 to 9. But you like the fight that oh, you've yes, seen absolutely. In, in, our, in, our, in our boys tonight, for sure. Devin Ains is going to step in here. The junior for Mustang, and I believe, and I have to ask who that was. I believe that was. Who is that? Yeah, it's Wura Yanusa. That's what I yeah, was thinking. Trying to whisper over there yeah, without yeah, coming no, across. No, I, I didn't do I, very good. No, that's all right. I turned you down. I turned you down. <laughs> you, you, had, you caught me. You, you I, I had my back. You. I did you catch had my you. back. Yep. But. So Wura Yanusa, the freshman for Coach Jefferson. Boy, he almost fought out boy, of that right boy, there. Boy, and he's working it hard. Devin Ains, a, a well-built junior. Boy, that boy looks like he's thrown some hay. <laughs> he does look. He looks pretty stout. <laughs> yes, he does. And, and, he wrestled and a coward, too, so, in his time. So does he. Yanusa also. Yanusa yeah. just a freshman and out. Right. I mean, for a freshman, he's pretty stout looking there. And so Boy, you got a junior going to uh, senior against a uh, freshman. A, a, just a, a freshman in Yanusa. So Devin Ains. See, if these young wrestlers will just stick with it, their day will come. As long as that we just keep seeing that great effort and keep going hard. And you, Yanusa fighting hard here. Five nothing, Mustang, or I should say, Devin Ains on top of Yanusa. Battling. Now the count starts. Getting some back points. Back points. Uh oh, and Yanusa got himself in some trouble. He's trying to get it out, and there's and the pin. And there's the pin. So now it's going up to 51 to nine for Mustang and. Mustangs just, they're showing why they're one of the top teams yep. here in Oklahoma and, and one of the top teams Winter across the country. At 195, Devin Ains. So Ains, the win there. Jacob Gearhart and Creshawn Mayberry now. Gearhart for Mustang, Creshawn Mayberry. The sophomore for Coach Jefferson and his squad. And, and Mayberry just missed placing at state by one match last year. He took second just last week in the Mid-American Nationals, one of the top tournaments in the state. And he'd only practiced one day from football. So uh, 
Really? Uh, Cree, Creeshawn, an outstanding uh, young man and wrestler for, for the Union Red Hawks, going against Jacob Gearhart. And Mayberry just a sophomore at 220. It's also, I think, a linebacker or a defensive end for our football team. Gets Boy, a good takedown right take there. Down there. He's trying to get him up off his feet. And they're going to be too far off the mat. But a nice takedown yeah. there. Minute 22 left yeah. here in the first period. And Mayberry takes a 2-0 lead. Mayberry having a little conversation. I like it. <laughs> I, there's nothing wrong with that. It, it's called competition, and, yeah. and, 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 and I love seeing that stuff. We had a lot of that going on in the basketball game when we played the Chieftains a few right. nights back. Yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. Boy, and, and did we not take care of that we, in the second half. We took care of that uh, very much so. And we, then our, our JV team beat them uh, uh, in the Bishop Kelly yeah, tournament, yeah. too. And Just there's that. a big throw and a takedown there. No points awarded yet, though. So at what point, let me ask, at what point should Mayberry have been awarded for, for this throw like this? Well, if he didn't get away, then um, there'd be no points for okay. that. Okay, okay. We've got two to one up here. Right. It's, it's two one. I'm just wondering with the way that Mayberry was able to take him down, why there weren't any points awarded. Right. Now he's starting to try to work that leg. Gearhart with a nice counter to get that arm away. And from he his might leg. have given an escape, and it might have been a takedown. It might should be four to one. I would imagine so I, coaches so, will be watching that. Well, and what we might have missed was the fact that, that Mayberry started on top. Right, yeah, right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, 10 seconds remaining here in the first. Mayberry doing a great job. Three seconds. And we'll take a 2 1 lead yep. into the, into the second. second period. Yep. yep. So, Gearhart looks. Talking a little to Coach Piccolo. You know, he might have played some football, too. They both haven't been out very yeah, long. Yeah. So Mayberry takes down. He'll want to get that quick move. Attempt to get out. Mayberry trying his best to get up. Gearhart with a nice hold there, trying to get his arm, or trying to get his arm wrapped around his leg. Is Gearhart. Reaching back. One thirty remaining in the second here. Yeah. Two one. May Mayberry, now, Mayberry on. uh, got to get back down to his belly right there. Yeah. He's going to give up some back points. Now come up. Now he can come up. Yep. Gearhart trying to head in the side cradle right uh -huh. there. But he gets up. And there's and gets the away. escape. Boy, nice job as the fans come alive here. Creeshawn right, Mayberry gets away. three to one. That was some sheer strength on both both of them part, right. both of them's part. Yep. And uh, Mayberry with a nice escape right there goes up three to one. One minute left. We're halfway through this match. One minute left in the second period. Mayberry up by two over Jacob Gearhart. We're at the 220 weight class here, as you can see it live. Right here on the Union Sports Network. Thanks for joining Mayberry us. Mayberry almost Dunlap. tried to. He and takes him to his back, back and gets Boy, the takedown. Gets and the all takedown, and Gearhart did a great job yeah. quickly getting over. Get back over to his stomach. But, boy, I thought I thought Mayberry uh, was going to. And he touched on that full Nelson that again. Full Nelson so again. it's 5 2. Next penalty point will be two points. And then, then you're disqualified after that. Yeah, but after he that, touched on, touched if you on just it. touched on that full Nelson. Well, let's be honest, Clint Wynn's done a really good job refereeing tonight. Yes, he has. You know, he, he's done a fair good, on both good sides fair job, them. yes. Bayberry on top. The best he's going to hope for here is to get some back points, obviously, unless he can get right. him down and get a pin. There's Boy, a big just throw. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Just. Just picked him up and put him back to the mat. If you if sometimes if you can't do anything else, you know, just you pick him up, and put him back down. down. <laughs> I had an assistant coach. He should go just throw him down. <laughs> <laughs> and a two, Mayberry on top, five two. 
And I'm going to be honest with you, that's just the sheer strength of Dan Oh, Barry. that was a power move all the way. I mean, you're talking about picking up a, a, a young man that's 220 and yes. just setting him on the mat. Right. Pretty effortlessly. So they'll both stand up, go into the so. third here, 5-2. Mayberry on top of Gearhart. Not sure what came out there. Might have been a... I think there's some tape off of a finger there finger. or something there. Yeah. That's it. Boy, both these guys are battling hard. They're yep. down to a minute 40. Yep. Third period. Mayberry up 5-2 to two over Gearhart. And Gearhart, Gearhart to go almost the, got an yeah. ankle pick right there. Yeah, you see that? Yes. Still working it. Mayberry's working it, trying to get a hold of that leg. Gearhart's not going to let him. Now Gearhart's got a... Got another hug and on now, him. And just there a it power is. move. Uh, There's just a power move over. Body locked him to the mat. Trying to get a pin right here is Mayberry. And Gearhart fighting out of it. And he's going to. He's going to get him over yeah. and off the mat. 7 2 mm -hmm. now. Should be 10 2. 10 4, actually, is what it should be. 10 to 4. There it is, up on there the board now. There it is. Now. Okay. Yeah, he took him down to his back, got the it take down, the, the three point near fall, and then Gearhart reversed. Got reversed got so it. 10 to 4, a ten. minute nine. Here's an escape. Escape. It's not called it yet. There's the call. And there's the call. There's the point. 11 4 now. Eleven to four. Fifty seconds left here. Creeshawn Mayberry, the sophomore here. Doing I mean, his best a, to show Jefferson why he belongs. You know, as a freshman last year, he's one match from placing at state at a big weight. You know, you're yeah. usually wrestling seniors, juniors and seniors, and not too many freshmen at that weight. And uh, I think he is, is going to be one of our outstanding wrestlers before, before his career is over here at Union. Well, and he's, he's putting on a show right now. Yeah, for yeah, sure. He's up 11 to 4, 12 seconds left. Yeah. Uh oh. He's, hold he's on, got though. himself in a little bit of a bind there. A takeout by Gearhart Two makes it 11 Gearhart. to 6. We're down to 10 seconds. 10 now. seconds left. I think all that Mayberry's got to do I is. I think hang Mayberry's on. just going to coast it out right here for four seconds left. He's going to win 11 to yeah. 6. And Mayberry will win it. A winner uh, for the Union Redhawks, Creeshawn Mayberry. Sean Mayberry, great job for him. And that's what you want to see out of the sophomore. And you said it last year, he was one match away right. from going to state. So Jeff Oaks, Oaks here. Against Christian Rowland, a returning state champion at heavyweight last year. And saw his match last year at heavyweight to win and what a match it was. Definitely one of the top wrestlers in the state. And uh, Oaks, uh, Junior still still doesn't have a lot of varsity experience, and here he is going against the state champion. Yeah. And state champion is uh, Christian Rollins getting some back points right there. Uh -huh. But a nice job by Oaks to get out yeah, of that. Yeah, fought out of that real fought hard. That. He's still fighting for it. Oaks is trying his best to get out of it. Rollins got him close, but Oaks is not letting it happen. Oaks, he is fighting hard right there. And, and there's there the is. fall. So it's going to end up 57 to 12 tonight. The third ranked Mustang Broncos with an outstanding team, a lot of experienced wrestlers. But we saw a lot of fight and a lot of effort out of our union wrestlers. And if they'll just keep fighting hard, good things will, will happen to them at the end of the year. Winner at 285 for Mustang, Christian Rowland. So that's it, and that's what you like to see. You love the fight and what we saw tonight. Right, right. That's for sure. Well, so, as long as they'll they'll give it all they got and keep fighting, good things good things can happen. It happens slowly though, and the main goal is to be the best you can be at the end of the year. So if you just improve a little bit each day, by the end of the year you can make quite an improvement. And uh, I think some of these young men will do that. And and we started off with a tough schedule. Bixby, one of the top ranked teams, and then we we wrestled uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. Then we've had. Uh, um, Mustang tonight, and then Thursday night we've got Broken Arrow, yep. which won't be. They'll have a lot of experienced wrestlers as well, and it's also the girls will be wrestling that match yep. that night too. So it's girls and boys girls wrestling and boys. at Broken Arrow Thursday night, Thursday at the, night at the Broken Arrow Gym. There you go. So come out if you can make it for that. But that's a that's it for us. 
as the Union Hawk, at Union Red Hawk Wrestling as Mustang defeats Union by a score of 57-12. Now, hey, our next broadcast on the Union Sports Network comes to you on Tuesday, January 11th, as it's basketball time again there, right. Steve. As we'll play host of the Jinx Trojans. So join Casey Jordan and myself on the call with the girls tipping off at 6.30. That's Tuesday, January 11th. So for our crew, Daniel Lopez and Abigail, producer, director, Andy Irwin, and of course, Steve Dunlap sitting right here next to me. Glad to have you back, Steve. Glad, glad to be here. I'm Jim Douthat. Happy holidays from all of us, and good night from the Union Freshman Academy in Tulsa.